Hi there, back with the trusty cube. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the, the knife tool, another edit mode tool. So we're going to tap into edit mode here and uh, we can find the knife tool right here. And the shortcut key for the knife tool is K. So I'm going to click the tool for now. And I'm just going to show you that if I hover any of these vertices here, nothing really happens unless I click in which point I start to draw and then I can get some feedback here and snap to these um, vertices here or they are not vertices yet but soon to be vertices if I confirm this and I can snap to this here for instance so I can click there and then click there and I can press enter to confirm and any other lines that's needed will be added so but then they kind of don't like a face inside a face without uh, actually touching at least two other uh, vertices so and from here we can continue using the uh, tool like just however we want like that for instance and its tool is still active so we can continue just pressing enter and we can right click to uh, undo whatever we painted or and you can just click 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 and then enter to do something like that and many people think that once they get to the knife tool all of their modeling problems are finally solved because it's such an uh, such a versatile tool you can basically do anything with it you can just cut 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 and then you can do extrusions or stuff like that but you just cut basically and then just move things around so uh, i'm now going to switch over to uh, the select tool here and i'm going to press k instead and you immediately here see that we get some feedback that we didn't have we just cancel out of that we right click we go back to the knife tool here we don't have any feedback go back to the tool uh, press K and now we have feedback so there is some kind of bug with this currently probably being fixed soon but if we want to use this then click once and then kind of uh, press E because that will end your line and now you can kind of have uh, this feedback here because I think that is kind of essential because you don't want to miss those lines there the edges if you use a knife tool but if we just press K, we have that without that um, supposed to be a bug, I guess. Uh, we can snap to the edges and we can snap to the vertices here. Once that becomes uh, a saturated green, like that ugly green there, there we go. And that means it's snapped. Press enter and we confirm that. Right, so there are some... Um, features of this tool that makes it even more powerful so if we press k you can see down here that we got our trusty status bar with all of the um, or at least some of the additional features that we can use so first off we have this z so if we press z this will make a cut through which means that if we press enter now and we go into wireframe mode up here you can see that it cuts right through anything that's behind the first um, the first face there all right so the next one is uh, angle constraint and this one is powerful because if i go into let's see that say that i go into uh, front view here and then i press k for the knife tool and then i press c then i can uh, constrain my um, to 45 degrees here the cut that I'm making so I can make uh, very exact cuts all of a sudden and I can click there and then I can make an exact cut from this place here now the problem or that I found to be a problem is that uh, the starting point will be wherever you click instead of wh where the last uh, vertex is uh, added so if I click here I'll add from this point uh, so I have to go back and click here again and then without actually adding any new geometry there uh, if we don't have Z enabled 
then I can go here and uh, I can uh, focus in on that line there so it becomes yellow and now I'm on exactly that line there we go and then I can do something like that so I get symmetry around here which I wouldn't be able to if I went like out here here and then arbitrarily just um, clicked so I have to be very precise with where I click if I want to use uh, this kind of system I just press enter and you see like here for instance uh, it's very common that you end up with things like this if you're not careful with the knife tool okay control Z that okay again we have um, let's see what was the next thing that I want to um, to look at let's see here oh yeah the E key that we briefly touched on if I press here then K K K and then I want to uh, cut there and then I can press the E key to keep that as a an outline or as a uh, not um, not yet confirmed cut and then I can continue to cut like this down here and then I can press E to release that cut like this like that for instance and then press E and I'm free to move around as much as I want in between could be good, no good to know and I can come here and make a cut press E and be happy with that adjust my view a bit cut like that for instance and I can even say like now when I'm released I can go Z and here I can make a cut through and then E and only that cut will be cut through so you can see that uh, there is an like an outline there we can see through while the other ones are still just flat on one surface all right so I'll just enter to confirm that you can see that there no, is no operator panel showing up I can't press F9 and have that um, uh, toggle up there I can just extrude this shape for instance just because it's fun so that's um, probably the most useful features around the knife tool and it's uh, sometimes a very useful tool and sometimes uh, it can be a bit hard to work with but uh, at least now you know the basics, the basics of it. So I hope you found this interesting. And if you're interested in more edit mode tools, you can check the link in the description and you'll find an article with over 30 modeling tools that I explain there. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.